So Article 3A of the lien law provides a lot of pitfalls for contractors who are just not aware of their obligations um, and can perhaps unintentionally get themselves into trouble. So one of the provisions that can cause a lot of trouble for a contractor in New York um, comes out of lien law section 76. And Article 3A of the lien law uh, requires certain funds to be held in trust for the benefit of contractors and suppliers. Lien law section 76 is a tool that allows a beneficiary of that trust uh, to demand that the trustee, the person who received the money, provide certain information related to the trust. Now the beneficiary, the person who's serving the demand on the lien law section 76, has options. Um, he can require the trustee provide a verified statement uh, of the entries that are contained in the books and records for the project. And Article 3 of the lien law is very specific as to what information must be in those records. Uh, and a verified statement basically means a statement that's made under oath. Uh, it's sworn to by the trustee, the person who's responding to the section 76 demand. Or, we law section 76 allows the beneficiary um, to demand access to the books and records for the project. And it's the beneficiary um, who gets to decide which they want. The more common uh, way to do it is to request a verified statement. Um, but should you want to go in and look at the books and records uh, of a trustee, if you are a beneficiary under the lien law, then Article 3A provides you with that right. So how do we trigger that obligation under Section 76? Uh, so you serve a demand, the person looking for the information who's gonna be the beneficiary. They serve a demand and the person who receives it, who's gonna be the trustee, has 10 days to respond. Now, if the person who receives the demand, the trustee, does not maintain proper trust records containing the information that is required by Article 3A of the lien law, then there's a presumption in the law that a diversion of those funds has occurred. That is a very powerful tool for a beneficiary, and that is a very uh, large potential liability for the trustee. So anybody who receives a Section 76 demand, which strongly suggests they consult with an attorney before they respond, uh, because if they don't have the records or if they don't properly respond, they may put themselves in the position of triggering a presumption that they have diverted those funds for non-trust purposes. Why do we care about that? Well, if you're the trustee and you've diverted trust funds um, and you can't respond to the Section 76 demand or you don't have the appropriate information required to respond to the Section 76 demand, uh, then you can potentially be personally liable. Even if you're a corporation, the trustee of the corporation, the, the principles of that corporation can be personally liable for trust diversions if they knew and allowed the trust to happen, uh, the trust diversion to take place. Now, trust diversions, there's the whole procedure under Article 3 of the lien law. They must be brought as a class action if there's a lawsuit, and there's uh, potential additional damages, perhaps you can get punitive damages, you can get attorney's fees awards. So there's a lot of risk there for the trustee who doesn't have these records. Um, trust diversions are also crimes in New York. So again, strongly recommend anybody who receives a lien law section 76 demand that they consult with counsel before they provide that verified statement um, or allow access to those books and records. If you have any more questions, you can visit our website at www.nyconstructionlaw.com to learn more about lien law section 76 and the procedure for both enforcing and defending actions brought under Article 3A of the lien law.